so let us do two questions based on factorization of polynomials and the polynomial is a cubic polynomial so let's see how to do that so first of all we have to take the constant term and write the factors of factors of 5 are plus or minus 1 plus or minus 5 now we have to go for trial and error method so our polynomial is p of x equal to x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5 so let us find one factor out of that so i'm going to put x equal to 1 so p of 1 will be equal to 1 cube minus 3 into 1 square minus 9 into 1 minus 5 and when you simplify minus 3 minus 9 is minus 12 so minus 17 and this is equal to minus 16 which is not equal to 0 so we understand that x minus 1 is not a factor now put x equal to minus 1 so p of minus 1 will be equal to minus 1 cube 3 into minus 1 square 9 into minus 1 minus 5 so this is equal to minus 1 minus 1 square is positive so again minus 3 and this will become plus 9 and minus 5 so minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9 plus 9 will be equal to 0 so that means x plus 1 is a factor of p of x so here we have cubic polynomial and out of that only one factor we got so the remaining two factors are yet to be found so you take the polynomial x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5 and divide by the factor we found which is x plus 1 now x cube divided by x will give you x square and now we have to multiply these two terms with x square because x into x square will give you x cube and 1 into x square will give you x square now subtract so that the first term will be 0 so minus 3x square and again you have a minus so it will become minus 4x square bring down the next term take the first term divide by x minus 4x square by oh, minus 4x square divided by x is minus 4x so x into minus 4x is minus 4x square 1 into minus 4x that is minus 4x again you subtract so this will become plus this also plus so the first term will get cancelled when you add minus 4 plus 4 it will be 0 minus 9x plus 4x will be minus 5x and bring down the last term what is minus 5x by x it is minus 5 and uh, so now we can multiply x into minus 5x plus 1 into minus 5 subtract we will get remainder 0 so this is again in degree 2 so again we have to factorize the quotient so when you divide you are getting the quotient as x square minus 4x minus 5 but we have to factorize again so that we will get all the factors so for doing that we have to follow the splitting the middle term here sum is minus 4 and product is minus 1 so sum is minus 4 product is minus 5 so when you take the factor as 5 and 1 5 into 1 will give you 5 and 5 minus 1 will give you 4 so we can go for that x square now here the sign is minus so the big term should get that minus sign minus 5x then plus x minus 5 and now from the first two terms we can take common factor so it will be x into x minus 5 plus here this is 1 into x minus 5 so x minus 5 is common in both the terms take this outside the bracket and the remaining terms in the second bracket so these are the other two factors so we can write therefore x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5 is equal to remember we already have x plus 1 as the factor so x plus 1 into here we got x plus 1 into x minus 5 so these are the factors
Let's do one more question. Factorize x cube plus 13x square plus 32x plus 20. Again, we have a cubic polynomial. So, three factors will be there. So, first you have to take this constant term. We'll write the factors. Factors of 20 are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 10 and the plus or minus 20. And now we can start with the trial and error method. So if I put x equal to 1, x equal to 1 in the polynomial, it will be definitely you will get a positive value and not 0 because it is plus. So when you add all these terms, this is not equal to 0. So we can try x equal to minus 1. So minus 1 cube plus 13 into minus 1 square, 32 into minus 1 plus 20. So this is equal to minus 1 plus 13 minus 32 plus 20. So minus 1 and minus uh, 32 will give you minus 33. 13 and 20 will give you 33 and the sum will be equal to 0. So we found that x plus 1 is a factor. So we got only one factor. The remaining factors have we need to find out. So 32x plus 20 divided by x plus 1. Now x cube by x is x square. So x into x square is x cube. 1 into x square is x square. Subtract 13 minus 1 is 12x square and bring down the next term. So 12x square divided by x will give you 12x. So x into 12x is 12x square. 1 into 12x is 12x. Now subtract. So we will get 20x and then bring down the next term. So 20x by x is 20. So x into 20 is 20x and 1 into 20 is 20. Now subtract the remainder will be 0. So we got again the quotient is x square plus 12x plus 20. Now here the sum is 12 and the product is 20. So we have to write all the factors of 20. 2 into 10 then 4 into 5. So 2 into 10 will be correct because 2 into 10 will give you 20. And 2 plus 10 will give you 12. So I'll write x square plus 10x plus 2x plus 20. Now from the first two terms, if you take x as common factor, we will get x plus 10. And from the next two terms, you take 2 as common factor, you will get x plus 10. So x plus 10 is common. So x plus 10 into x plus Therefore, we can write x cube plus 13x square plus 32x plus 20 equal to the first factor we found is x plus 1 and now we have x plus 10 and x plus 2. So, we understand that see the cubic polynomial will have three factors.